you doing today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? Deadpool and Wolverine is crushing it at the box office, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is all something we expected. Of course, the hype around this movie was absolutely huge. The marketing was unparalleled and absolutely phenomenal. And it was just a marketing campaign that was just absolutely great. The movie was wonderful. It was a great time. My wife and I absolutely loved it. We had a blast going and seeing it after con. I cannot wait to see it again. It's just been a wonderful, good time. And boys and girls, the box office is just absolutely crushing it because it is knocking down things left and right. Obviously, this movie is very well on its way to a billion dollars. It will probably end up being the top grossing billion uh, R-rated movie of all time. I would imagine out, outpassing Joker and several other, and another movie out there. And it's already outpassing a lot of other things out there as well. It's breaking records left and right. And the numbers are just insane. And it does not look like it's slowing down anytime soon. This is what happens when you actually make a movie that fans enjoy. You bring two characters and two actors that not only love their craft, but also love these characters and love the audiences. This is something that Wolverine and Deadpool is something that we have all been waiting for for absolute generations since the first time we saw any semblance of the fact that we were going to get Deadpool in the Marvel, in any kind of universe, in live action with the Fox movies and stuff like that. We saw that absolute abysmal portrayal in the X-Men Origins movies and now we've got it back and it's in its right place and the fans are absolutely loving it. They're eating it up and color a shock there when you don't pander, when you don't do a bunch of nonsense and you actually stick to the story, stick to the lore, stick to the good character representations you make the fans happy and we make you rich. Color us shocked there. So we're going to tear this article from Deadline, break down all the numbers for you and show you some of the amazing records because this actually looks like he ends it indeed Marvel Jesus because this one even knocked out a story about Christ himself and is breaking the records for all of that kind of stuff as well. So we're going to check out this article from Deadline, give you all the the juicy details but before we do if you do enjoy our content hit that like button share with all your friends and subscribe or follow if you have not already because we are sailing our way towards 1100 and i could not do that without every single one of you also leave us a comment down below what you thought about the deadpool and wolverine movie have you seen it have you seen it multiple times are you planning on going and seeing it and if you are why are you still waiting this long let me know what you think about all that down below so from deadline.com Tom, our dear sweet Nancy, I'm not going to butcher your last name, Nancy. You seem like a nice lady. Deadpool and Wolverine feels the power with 824 million plus global through second frame. Disney tops 3 billion worldwide with the international box office. And yes, this movie is absolutely crushing it, ladies and gentlemen. And this comes in with the Sunday update. But let's go ahead and check out what their original article was going on out there because, of course, the Sunday update is one of the great things this is why we generally wait to make movies over or videos over the box office until Monday or Tuesday because that's really when we get the final numbers in but it's so obvious with this kind of thing where this movie is going that this thing is just going to crush it it has been outstripping expectations it over it has overperformed every metric that they had set for this thing like I said I don't think they even the guys in Hollywood had no idea how well this movie was going to do and holy cow guess what you bet right Kevin Feige you bet on Ryan Reynolds you bet on Hugh Jackman and you let them do their thing and guess what you are getting the rewards for it enjoy it sir Take the lessons from it. Take the lessons you need to learn from this and move forward properly. So from Deadline, the boys are at it again with yet another milestone crossed, including Thursday's numbers. Deadpool and Wolverine has licked the sixth century global box office milestone, now counting 630.4 million worldwide. It's bittersweet because that means Deadpool and Wolverine has overtaken the lifetime of Hugh Jackman stars Logan's 6.9 global million dollar take, likewise an R-rated movie and one that is heavily referenced in Deadpool and Wolverine obviously and that's great I mean that's that's another great success to show you I mean this shows you the power of bringing two great actors with two characters that they absolutely love and embody so well to the big screen together. I mean, this is absolutely insane, and it's a beautiful thing to keep an eye on. Probably worth keeping an eye on social for commentary from the stars about that. And yes, there was a great little video. There was a great little trailer. There's a little clip of Deadpool and Wolverine putting it out there, and it basically did, it was like just a love letter to the fans. It was just like a thank you thing for how well this movie's doing and how much everybody's loving it. And guess what? They deserve it. They deserve all the praise for this. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman together in combination. Just a beautiful, 
Chef's Kiss. Absolutely beautiful thing. So with this upcoming business, with this uh, with this weekend's upcoming business, Ryan Reynolds and Jackman are expected to be the fronting the second biggest movie of the year worldwide, only behind Disney's Pixar Inside Out 2, which of course has like a month jump on it as well. Trust me, this movie will end up overtaking that. And even for the fact that it's an R-rated movie, that is absolutely mind-blowing, boys and girls. Absolutely mind-blowing. The current breakdown for this Marvel and Disney phenomenon is $298.4 million domestically and $332 million from the international box office. Obviously, that number has drastically climbed with the weekend numbers. We're now well over $750 million at this point. Continuing its record-breaking run, the Sean Levy-directed Mutant Smash-Up is posed to top the Passion of the Christ by End of Day Sunday to become the biggest R-rated movie ever in North America. Yes, ladies and boys, children of all ages, it's one of those things out there. This is the number one R-rated movie ever domestically in history. That is absolutely insane. Literally, Ryan Reynolds wasn't wrong. He is Marvel Jesus because they beat out the passion of the Christ. Now, given obviously this isn't adjusting for inflation either. These are just the raw numbers. But still, at the end of the day, that's absolutely insane. I mean, literally, a movie about the life and death of our Savior Jesus Christ has now been beaten by Deadpool and Wolverine. The Merc with the Mouth. I'm sure God is getting an absolute tickle out of that. Internationally, Deadpool and Wolverine has already well surpassed the 2004 Mel Gibson blockbuster. The overall overseas record is still a ways away, though the film could enter the top five this weekend. For the record, Thursday's overseas Deadpool and Wolverine gross was $29. Million. And so this is where we get into the Sunday update, ladies and gentlemen, because this movie is just going farther. Deadpool and Wolf continues to govern the global box office, now with an estimated $824.1 million through Sunday, boys and girls. $825 million. And how many weeks has this movie been out? Two. This thing is a bullet train heading to the sky. The breakdown here is $395.6 million domestically and $428.5 million at the international box office. On a worldwide basis, Deadpool and Wolverine has already topped the, cum- the cumulatives of Deadpool $783 million and Deadpool 2 $786 million. And this is two weeks. Two weeks. It has already surpassed the lifetime of the box office of the previous two Deadpool movies. That is insane. Hey, color a shock there. Make the fans happy and we'll make you rich. It's almost like that's something people have been trying to tell you for years. It's the number three R-rated movie of all time and the second highest global studio release of 2024 to date in just two weeks. Falling in behind Inside Out 2, this has helped push the Walt Disney Studios to become the first studio to cost $3 billion globally this year. The estimated cumulative through Sunday is $3.109 billion. Deadpool and Wolverine saw a great 41% dip in the sophomore session overseas, which is stronghold in several areas and remains the number one non-local movie in all international markets. And a 41% dip? That is unheard of in a second week from weekend to weekend drop boys and girls normally it's almost always a 60 65 percent drop it's almost always that this one ain't slowing down which means once again this isn't just something that everybody was super excited it wasn't just a marketing success it means people actually love this movie and are going and backing to see it again and are hearing from their friends that they need to go and see this movie this is how you do success there's not a bunch of pandering to a bunch of people that don't buy your tickets and don't go see your movies and don't buy your toys there's not a bunch of checkboxing nonsense there's not a bunch of diversity for the sake of diversity no it's just a good popcorn superhero movie with a rant with a bunch of characters that you know and love acting the way they are supposed to. This is how you do it, Marvel! Listen up, Kevin Feige! Listen up, Bob Iger! This is what you do to make the fans happy. This is how you save Marvel! Learn the right lesson from this, boys, and make yourself a success make marvel great again boys and girls 
learn the proper lessons here, sir. Will they? Probably not. It's only a matter of time before we find out. But I hope, I hope they do. And a milestone, yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine is the highest grossing superhero film of all time in Lebanon and Turkey, while the cumulative date has already surpassed the totals for both previous Deadpool movies in Italy, Spain, as well as the Netherlands, Poland, Egypt, Greece, the United Arab Emirates, Ukraine, Philippines, Malaysia, and India, among others. Yes, boys and girls, it's a global phenomenon. Everyone loves it. All of the checkboxing nonsense, all of the diversity stuff that they all claimed was for all of these underrepresented groups, all these people around the world will finally be able to see themselves on the big screen and it'll be great, it'll be wonderful, and everybody will love it. How did that work out? Failure after failure at the box office, billions of dollars lost. Set on fire, all on the altar of your diversity, inclusion, and equity nonsense. All to have Deadpool and Wolverine come in and take you to the cleaners and show you how it's done. Because that's what they've done. It shows you that two straight white males leading a movie about characters that they know and love, that the audience knows and loves in a proper way that is respectful to their characters is actually a success and concentrating on bringing in obscure, obscure and unknown characters that no fans care about all to meet some checkbox requirement that guess what the world has rejected the old adage of go woke, go broke is proven true once again by Deadpool and Wolverine by showing that when you don't go woke, when you actually make the fans and you actually make your audience happy, it's a success. And that's what Deadpool and Wolverine proves. It will end up being the highest grossing rated R movie of all time. And it will be one of the highest grossing superhero movies of all time. Why? Because sticking to the story, sticking to the lore, and sticking to the characters actually works. Your representation, your inclusivity, and your equity fails over and over and over again. So shout out to Deadpool and Wolverine. And shout out to another record-breaking success for Ryan Reynolds. Keep on making the fans happy, and we'll keep on making you rich.